going on guys welcome back for another episode of king of avalon all right so i know in the previous video i said i wasn't gonna move and this and that but you know the the server i was on was just straight crap all right i mean my, my alliance did abandon the server because they got tired of being attacked which i understand you know you don't want to play with the big boys you know you want to go ahead and abandon whatever the case is but i couldn't find an alliance on that server to save my life that was actually worth you know starting you know the legacy with so i decided to go ahead and move <clears throat> all right so let me see here let me just see let me get a couple catch up on some things here i'm actually playing on kingdom four all right and let's see it's gonna catch up a couple things here yeah so kingdom four is actually pretty good okay uh, if you guys are wondering how to start a kingdom or go to a different kingdom all you gotta do is go out to the world map zoom it all the way out and you can see the different kingdoms you got the little arrow hey, over here you can go to kingdom five scroll across the map you can go to kingdom three kingdom one and so on and so forth that's how you guys switch your kingdoms or you know i think you can i don't think you can switch your current account uh which or i would have done that um so i started over and i'm pretty much caught up i actually passed where i was at where i left off all right so it's not it's not hard so definitely, if you guys are looking for an alliance on Kingdom 4, the Burning Legion is recruiting. You can either type in Burning Legion, or in the search, you can type in B-U-R, and you'll find us. Okay? That's just one of the many ways you can actually find um, a clan. Uh, we're making moves with this, this uh, alliance here as well. Um, just a couple days ago, we were like 390 in the rankings now we're 89 and this clan this alliance is only about three days old um we do have the you know really good leadership as well um plus you have a great deal amount of people that you can play with i mean most people are new but not new to the games period you know we have other experiences from other games like you guys know me from playing war and war and order and places games like that um this game is pretty much like it you know like the, the first video i made you can play this game in landscapes so i can't stress how much i, I enjoy playing the game and landscape so yeah it doesn't take long to build anything up um yeah you can still do what you have to do uh you gotta excuse me guys i'm eating lunch here at the same time making a video so i'm actually hungry but i want to get all what i had to get out um in the forefront here so i can go back after my lunch break here back to work all right so like i said it does not take very long if you were to start over that's what most people are doing now i guess everybody's starting to figure out that the at the uh, the kingdom that they're on sucks, so everybody's making moves and going to wherever they need to go to. But definitely, I would definitely encourage you guys if you're gonna start over, start over on Kingdom Four, Burning Legion. Look us up. B U R. Search. We will take care of you. All right, we're number 89 on the rankings, and we're making moves fast. We already got other alliances asking us to merge with them, and I'm just like, wow. Why would we want to merge with other people? We're making moves. They should merge with us. Join us. And become a you know, force to be reckoned with. I'm not down for you know joining other people. You know we're making our own legacy here. We don't need other people. We got this. But yeah, I definitely want to make sure you guys uh, look up a great clan, Burning Legion, Kingdom Four. Um, I just unlocked marching slots, which that makes the where you can actually send out more than one army at a time. Because you know sending out one army to go kill a wolf or a goblin or a hyena, hydra, whatever you're fighting, it gets really annoying. Just to be able to send out one troop, you know, one 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 march. You have to wait for them to come all the way back, and then you know do what you got to do again. So now I can send out two armies at one time and do different things. So if I want to farm a wood, or I want to farm you know farm some food, I can do that both instead of just doing one at a time. Um, this is what our territory is looking like right now, and right now we are unlocking the um, Alliance Fortress, which is supposed to give us a bunch of buffs. So that's definitely a um, good job there for the clan there. So that's not, that's not bad. All right, so we're going to get that. Hopefully we can get our own town, you know, our own kingdom farms and all that kind of stuff like that and build like that from so on and so forth. All right, so, yeah, definitely hit us up, guys. Uh, let me see. I can kill probably, I think the highest I can kill is like level 9 right now not too much so i need some food so i'm gonna go ahead and occupy that and what i'll do is equalize it you can either quick select it or you can just select however you want to select slide you can equalize it so it does this half 
and then you can march them out. It's going to take up two minutes to go to that little farm over there. And I want to get some wood too, but I want to try to keep it all in the territory. All right, so definitely want to make sure I can farm in our territory because I know other games, if you farm in your territory, you get a bonus. I don't, I'm not sure about this one, but hey, you know what? It's not going to hurt to try. So I'm going to send the remaining troops over there to get that wood. All right, so it's going to take them a couple minutes to get there, and when they get there, they're going to do some work, serious work. All right, um, I think I'm castle number seven now. Yep, castle seven. Going to be soon castle eight or nine, probably start working on that tomorrow if not today tonight after I get off work gonna go ahead and get that going um see do the, tra oh, the trap factory need to get that leveled up go ahead and make sure that's there it's gonna be taking 40 minutes for that um, just pretty much upgrading the farms and building this and building that and that's pretty much all there is to it man it's really not a whole lot I'm just hoping like a barbarian something like I, like the second video I made something like that comes up again because that's good um, that was good uh, resource that you get from those those events man they have events going on every day you just have to choose the, which one which one you want to do all right so I'm still waiting for the trading post and the wishing well so once I get the castle eight nine and all that I should be fine to uh, update that so definitely want to um, definitely give shouts out there yeah, I want to give shout-outs out to my old alliance there, the ones that ran to Kingdom, I guess, 12 they went to. Yeah, I'm not going to join you guys. I'm sorry. Not coming. All right, so I'll give get old YouTube a shout. All right, let me see. I can't even type today, man. I got straight up snosses right now at this at moment. All right, all right. So the troops are healed. Um, my dragon's flying around. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's flying around a lot. So I already got all of his assigned skills already put out there. Um, yeah. Okay, so I got that. Just unlocking these farms. And that's our alliance leader, Envy, Darkness, man, best leader in the world, guys. You guys want great leadership? Definitely want to join this clan right here, and we'll definitely take care of you. That guy is awesome. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, definitely do not hesitate to hit me up in the comments. I do message you guys back. I do get notifications on my phone. Um, I get them on the computer as well, so I can definitely hit you guys up whenever, except for when I'm sleeping, of course. I'm not going to sleep, but uh, definitely can do that. Uh, I think the next thing I'm going to research on, I'm trying to make sure I can get some economy. Not really worry about construction because things don't really construct that much faster. So I'm going to go for the uh, good old wood production and iron production and gathering and food gathering and wood gathering and all the gatherings. So I'm going to start going for that next. All right, so I was already in the combat. Just so I can get the, the marching going, um, I will start getting the march slots too. I'm sure that's going to be another additional slot that I can get. And let me see. Well, that's just uh, that. All right. Yeah, I definitely want to get that next. Let me see. Yep, get another March slot. So I can be able to get three. And it just takes, that's the only part that takes a while in this game is getting your research done. Um, you got to know what you want to do and this and that and yada, yada, yada. Um, also, make sure that you guys donate. If you guys donate to your alliances and stuff like that, you guys can grow that much faster and grow that much more powerful. All right, so we can check out our donations, see what's going to be the star. Um, they always put a star next to what they want us to donate to next. Um, so the next thing is they want us to do infantry attack. Um, let's just scroll up here. We're on level two right now. And we're actually alliance uh, number three right now. So that's good there, too. Let me see. Bowman attack, health, siege, defense. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's see if we didn't miss anything on level two. Fast trap, safe keeping back up. Nah. I would have said massive rally, maybe. Wagon load, possibly. Fast learner, we did that, but that's not too. Ah, that's all right. Helping hands is always good to have, too. All right, so I think we're on the right track. We're definitely on the right track. You gotta have a plan. Um, we're doing infantry aggression, which. Let me see. Increase the attack of your infantry troops. Yeah, I guess we do need that. 
So let me go ahead and put some put some wood there. And by the time I get done, it's probably gonna be like about four hours before I can donate again. So that's perfect timing for when I get off work. I'll be able to do it again. At this point, I can do my rewards either doing the food, or actually, yeah, the food, or I can do the um, gold coins. Um, I'm gonna go for this one because that gives me more experience. Whenever it pops up, keep on going like that. Yep, making some good moves here. All right, so I have four hours until I can uh, donate again. So definitely, whenever you guys uh, join up, don't hesitate to donate because, like I said, we were gonna be one of the number one legions on, or actually alliances on this uh, on this kingdom or server, whichever one you want to call it. Let's see if I have any experience here. Nope, no experience, nothing like that. Um, there we go. All right, so that's pretty much all I got right here, guys. Not a whole lot with this game right now. Like I said, there's, unless you're doing an event, it's not a whole lot you have to really do, which is good. Um, people do attack people on the server, but it's not as bad. It's pretty pretty low populated, almost. I mean, people are starting to move here. You can see every day, in the, and you can watch the chat, and you can see every, everyone talking. Uh, here's the global chat here, the kingdom chat, what they call it. Um, of course, there's a lot of people. It's English speaking. I went to one server, and it was just like straight Chinese, Japanese, or whatever. I was like, whoa. Wrong one for me. I think it was 12. That's why I, that's why I was like, I'm not going there. But definitely Kingdom 2. You will have English speakers. You know. It's great. Not being prejudiced or anything like that. I play with everybody, but when I see my chat, I want to better read it. You know. I know some games, they do have a feature where you can actually, uh, it translates it for you. Which Like War and Order does that. Wish this one had, you know, same kind of feature. Developers, if you guys are, uh... Let me see, he's checking out the uh, feature there. We can get um, auto auto translated here. All right, so we already got other alliances trying to poach our people, which they know we have good people in our alliance. So of course they're going to try to steal us. But me, I'm not going anywhere. This is I'm actually I'm loyal. I'm a loyal person. You know, I'll be the last one to leave an alliance. All right, I'll stick it out freaking thin, no matter what. Okay, like I, the other alliance I was in, I was the only one there for a couple days. Then I got bored and I was like, you know what? I was looking for other alliances, wasn't finding it, wasn't happening, you know. So I went ahead and moved here and I was like, you know what? This is a good move. Don't regret it at all. Um, definitely, if you guys uh, don't mind, that's why I said, leave some comments. If you guys got some hint strategies or tips or anything like that that would help out for the better good of the community, don't hesitate to let that um, information slip out, okay? Um, we're also doing the 100 subscribers by the end of summer. So pretty much like around October, -ish, hopefully we'll have over 100 or more subscribers. Um, we are making moves, like we're really getting like five or six per week basically, which is, I definitely appreciate everybody that just, you know, um, has to subscribe in the last couple days and last couple months. I definitely appreciate it. I haven't really been promoting that too much, but now I am. So I definitely appreciate it, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you want to watch, what you want to hear. All right, see you next time. Have a good day.